हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल्स इन लास्ट लेक्चर्स वी लर्न अबाउट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ केमिस्ट्री स्कोप ऑफ केमिस्ट्री एंड ब्रांचेस ऑफ केमिस्ट्री नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द मैटर इट्स डेफिनेशन एग्जाम्पल्स एंड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ मैटर्स अ मैटर इज नथिंग बट एनी स्पेसिज इन द यूनिवर्स अ मैटर इज नथिंग बट एनी स्पेसिज इन द यूनिवर्स विच आकूप आई स्पेस एंड हैविंग अ मास्क is called as a matter a very simple definition any species that occupies space and having mass is known as a matter for example air comma water which required some space which having definite mass all living things for example this pen keyboard etc etc your metal that is pen book table chalk pen etc etc these all are the matters because they required some space and having a definite mass see there are some examples of the matter a matter can be classified into different types on the basis of a physical as well as a chemical properties on the basis of a physical and chemical properties matter can be divided into number of types the first one on the basis of physical properties a matter can be classified into following types out of this first three types are well known for us and last two types are just known for us on the basis of physical properties matter is classified into solid state liquid state or gaseous states both ions time condensed as well as the plasmas there are some figures diagrams or photographs which can justify the types of a matter we know the properties of first three physical states well very well the first one is the solid solid is a rigid in nature it has definite volume and definite mass that is definite shape intermolecular attractive forces that is bonding is very very strong in liquid state liquid has a definite volume but not definite shape intermolecular forces between two liquid molecules is less than solid hence they have some freedom for movement while in gaseous states intermolecular attractive forces are negligible and hence gas has no definite shape as well as definite volume they acquire all available space next two states are just in produce in our syllabus that is on the basis of this physical state there are such kinds of the classification of a matter then on the basis of physical properties a matter can be classified into this following types matter can be classified into mixture as well as a pure substance a mixture is again sub divided into two types homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture a pure substance is again divided into two types elements 
as well as a compounds elements can further sub classify into three types metals non metals as well as metal that is on the basis of a chemical properties matter is classified in two major types that is a mixture as well as a pure substance let us discuss about the pure substance a pure substance is a substance having a definite composition a pure substance having a definite composition and same properties are called as a pure substance that is any substance having definite composition for example water having definite definite composition that is contain two hydrogen and one oxygen atom that is definite composition they having a definite same properties throughout is called as a pure substance for example pure metal as well as a distilled water are the best examples of pure substance they mixture they have no definite composition hence mixture have no definite properties are called as a mixture a mixture having no definite composition as well as no definite properties are called as a mixture for example paints which is the mixture of oil pigment and additives that is three different components oil pigment and additives mixed together to form paint another example concrete that is a mixture of sand cement and water in a definite proportion give rise to a concrete hence there is a main difference between substance and mixture a substance pure substance having a definite composition and same properties while mixture does not have a definite composition as well as definite property this is the major difference between pure substance and a mixtures then this mixture can be again subdivided into two class as we say earlier that is homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture a pure substance is divided divided into two types that is elements as well as the compounds a element is nothing but a pure substance which cannot be broken into a simple substance a pure substance which cannot be broken into simple substance by ordinary chemical change is called as a element elements for example copper silver gold etc etc these are the elements that is a pure substance which cannot be broken into simple substance by ordinary chemical change then elements are again classified into three types metals non metals and metalloids we all know the properties of a metal so what are the important properties of metal metal can conduct heat and electricity metals are ductile that is metal have a shiny we can makes wires as well as the sheets from the metal that is metals are ductile in nature then metals contain large number of free electrons which are responsible for the conductions non metals having opposite property they cannot conduct heat as well as electricity they are not ductiles etc etc 
a metalloid that is this element can shows a properties of metals as well as non metal that is at low temperature they are non conductor while at high temperature they can conduct heat as well as electricity these are the three types of elements and last part of this video that is a compound a substance with a definite composition a substance with a definite composition that can be decomposed into two or more substance by a chemical process was again a substance with a definite composition as it is pure substance it has a definite composition but they can be decomposed into two or more than diff two different substance by a chemical process is known as a compounds for example sea water sodium chloride etc etc with the help of electrolysis water can be converted into two parts that is h plus as well as oh minus i that is hydrogen and oxygen finally okay